We just had a call from a lady in Yule who seems to have a crow stuck between a fence and a wall and apparently the gap's only six inches wide so obviously we can't get down into it. And they're saying that we need a 15 foot pole to get to it. It seems a bit weird to me. Uh, it's been trapped there for 24 hours so we will find out in due course. Right, but we're, at, we're at number 10. Um, there's nobody in, which really doesn't help. We've got to sort of try to guess where we're looking now. Right. Feels like trespass, doesn't it? Nothing down there. Ah, OK. We have a Boyd. I'll go and get the kit. So, let's get ourselves ready. past him so he doesn't go any further. He wanted to go into the net like he just has. I want to try and keep him in the net. I think he's a youngster. Oh, I think, yeah, them. Right, little one. Now, I can hear your mum and dad calling over there somewhere. I might get dive bombed by crows in a minute. It's very thin. We're going to have to take him back, sadly, because he's so thin. His keel is absolutely pronounce. You're very cute, aren't you, hey? Sorry, Mum and Dad, wherever you are. Sorry, folks, but he's coming back because he's a bit thin. This is the trouble when these things just fledge. They're on the ground for four or five days before they can fly. And they do get themselves into precarious positions. We'll get you home, and then we'll get you big and strong. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel by pressing the red button and make sure you hit the bell to get notifications of our latest content. If you want to help us save wildlife, please donate. Every pound you give will help us to save more wildlife.